we plate, you saw in that copper tube, it would plate all the way around the tubing, even though half the tubing was, was away from the anode. However, with chrome, you have to basically expose the workpiece one side to the anode and then turn it around and expose the other side. Now, you could get more sophisticated, put your workpiece in the middle and have two anodes, one on either side of the cathode, i.e. the workpiece, and that way you would get plating action from both sides. That would be the next step to do, and that's getting into the realm of commercial plating. Well, I think I'll uh, take a look here and see what I've got. <clears throat> it comes out, it'll be all red like that, and I'm going to turn around and plate the other side. Expose the other side. And so we'll let it pickle, we'll, excuse me, we'll let it plate for a minute like that. Okay, it's been plating for a few minutes now. Six bolts, we'll pull it out, see what we got. Comes out kind of reddish like that. Let me rinse it off here a little. I can see it's got a pretty good plate on, but we'll go off camera and buff it up and come back in just a minute here and show you what it looks like buffed up. So we'll be right back in a minute. Okay, so we buffed these off camera. I will just show you the, this was the one that we chrome plated. And this is the old version that just has a nickel plate on it. Now, chrome has a bluish tint to it. Nickel has a yellow. Can you, can you see the difference? This has got a yellow tint to it. Whereas this chrome, I'll keep twisting it here in the light, has got a blue.